What is up YouTube, welcome to Panfro Games, I'm going to be covering how to get 4 star photos for all 6 Illumina Pokemon and new Pokemon Snap. And we're going to be starting off with Meganium. In order to get the photo, you need Meganium to approach the second Crystal Flower. I had Meganium approach the second Crystal Flower without being affected by orbs, and I was just shooting orbs at the Crystal Flower. Once Meganium sniffs the flower, spam orbs at Meganium until it goes onto its hind legs. When it's on its hind legs, that's the moment you want to spam your camera. I highly recommend beating the game first before attempting these photos so you unlock burst mode. And burst mode lets you take multiple pictures at the click of one button. The second Illumina Pokemon is Wishy Washy. In order to summon the big Wishy Washy, you're going to need to hit a bunch of the school form Wishy Washies. You're going to want to do it this time when you're near the big rock that has the crystal flower at the bottom. Once you have sent away the little wishy washies, you're going to want to keep hitting the crystal flower until wishy washy returns. And once wishy washy comes back, you're going to want to hit it with some lumina orbs. And once you have completed that step, it should trigger its four star photo opportunity, which is going to be a big swirl attack. And you're just going to want to take a nice big photo of wishy washy doing this. The third Illumina Pokemon is Milotic. In order to trigger Milotic, you're going to need to hit the flower on the island with a Lumi Orb. Once you have done that, the Milotic will approach the island and sniff the flower with a Ninetales. After this, the Milotic will jump into the water and then you will need to hit it with a fruit as soon as possible. Once you have hidden it with a fruit, you're going to need to hit it once again with a Lumi Orb to give it back its Illuminant form. After a while, the Milotic will stop swimming around, and once it gets ready to jump, it will perch up, dive down, and jump into the sky. You will need to hit it with a Lumi Orb at the peak of its jump, and it will shoot out another Water Blast. That second Water Blast is the 4 star photo for Milotic. The fourth Illumina Pokemon is Volcarona. In order to get the four star shot for Volcarona, you need to head into the big room in the Illumina spot. There are going to be three crystal flowers for you to potentially hit. This technique will work on all three of the crystal flowers. So to set this up, you'll need to hit both Volcaronas with two fruit each and the Lumi Orb. Once the both Volcaronas have their fire shields down, you'll need to hit one of the crystal flowers. With the Volcaronas both with their shields down, they'll be attracted to the Crystal Flower and do the 4 star shot. This can take some time just because how slow the track is, so I definitely recommend speeding up this section. And after you've hit both Volcaronas with Lumi Orbs and taken down their shields, they'll start dancing around the room waiting for you to trigger one of the Crystal Flowers. This can take some time for them to actually get attracted to the flower, but keep hitting the closest flower, and eventually you'll get the 4 star shot of them focusing their energy on the flower.
timing. The fifth Illumina Pokemon is Steelix, and you're going to want to play the first part of the Steelix encounter just as usual, where you're going to want to throw apples into the holes and then hit the Steelix as it appears with Lumi Orbs. After you leave this first room, this is where we're going to have to pay close attention because personally, I find this to be the trickiest four-star photo to get out of all the Lumi Pokemon. So as we enter this second room, you're going to see a flower on the left-hand side of the room. You're going to need to hit that with a Lumi Orb. Hitting that with an orb will trigger a Crobat to come out of the cave. With the Crobat now activated, you'll need to hit the Steelix with Lumi Orbs. In order to trigger the Steelix to jump out, you're going to need to throw fruit into the hole. You can use the scan function to figure out where the Steelix is going to be. After a couple Lumi Orbs on it, it will be fully luminescent. Once the Steelix is fully luminescent, on its next jump, as it starts being fully luminescent, it will jump into the ceiling and bite a stalagmite. And that is the 4 star photo you need to grab. This may take a few attempts, but just remember when the Steelix is fully luminescent, it will attack whatever stalagmite is right above it, whether it's on the left or right side of the map. The final Illumina Pokemon is Xerneas. In order to get the 4 star shot for Xerneas, you can fast forward the Neo one to get to the water room. Once you're in the water room, you need to make sure to hit the Xerneas orb with a Lumi orb. Once you've hit the Xerneas orb, Xerneas will jump from the rock onto the platform. And behind the platform is the mural of all the other Illumina Pokemon. This is where the 4 star shot will take place. To set up the 4 star shot, you need to wake up both Houndooms that are sleeping in front of the mural. By hitting the Houndooms with fruit, you'll wake them up. Once you have done this, you'll need to bait the Houndooms with fruit to get as close as possible to Xerneas. This may take a few shots because the AI is a little bit iffy on this, but once you have thrown two fruits in front of the Xerneas, it will use Geomancy. And the Geomancy shot is your four star shot. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon action. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.